Hello, my day family. How are you doing today? For those of you that are new to my channel, my name is Mayday and I'm a licensed counselor with a YouTube channel. Like this video for the YouTube algorithm as well. So let's go ahead and get started. Hola, 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 mi gente. ¿Cómo están? Mayday familia. ¿Cómo están haciendo? How is your day going? Hope you're having a good day. So, um, kind of bright out here. And whenever it's bright, you know what? I should, I should have, I should have my shades, but the, for future videos, I'm going to do that. I'm going to have my shades that way I can, you know, put them on. So the sun is in, in my eyes the whole time. Anyway, so today we're going to be talking about being comfortable. And you notice, like when I was choosing the title for this video, one of the things that came to mind was, should it just be more of a question? Like, why or is being comfortable toxic and my mind was like no because that's in my mind that's not a question right being comfortable is definitely um, linked highly linked or can be highly linked to toxicity so i was like it's less of a question more of a fact right so i want us to talk a little bit more about like why that is what that looks like when it starts being toxic, when it crosses over from, oh, it's just comfortable, it's nice to being toxic, and kind of looking at some of the different areas and dynamics there. So comment below and subscribe to join the Mayday Familia. Los amo, gracias. And also hit the thumbs up. Um, helps out the video a lot if you like the video as well or, or found it helpful. Also, leave me other things that you guys might want to address or talk about. Here's an example of my experience and something that I've encountered that I think will be a good example for this particular topic. So I, I once met a, a guy that was in a relationship with a girl, not, not in a relationship with me, with someone else. And apparently they were kind of having some issues. They had had some issues in the past where he ended up in jail and I was like, I'm confused this test how this is still a relationship but you know what i mean but you know to each his own um but he you know the, I, it sounded like the disputes get really bad and the disputes and the arguments get really challenging so that's one thing to keep in mind about this particular situation but essentially they were going through some things and some hardships and so then I start asking questions like, okay, well, how do you feel about being in the relationship and things like that? Do you want to be in the relationship? Is that a relationship that you're happy in? So those are the questions I was asking. And his answer to me was, oh, well, I'm comfortable. And so I was like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so that really got me thinking. It really got me thinking, you guys. I'm sorry for it. Like, I'm outside, so the noise, hopefully it's not too distracting. But that really got me thinking, oh, my gosh, this happens every day where we stay in relationships day after day, year after year, that we're not necessarily happy in or we're not our happiest in we're not our best selves in because we're comfortable in that place in that spot and we don't want to have to face the discomfort of you know being back out there and having to date again or having to learn about ourselves again because that's a huge piece of what comes with that having to really focus on us right we should be doing that even when we're in a relationship but what happens most of the time is that we lose sight of that as soon as we get into a relationship because now we're trying to merge these two worlds together and thinking about this other person and things like that so a lot of people this is something so that just triggered the thought for me like wow this is something that happens every day. People stay in relationships that they're not necessarily the happiest in. They're, oh, they might be okay. They might be feeling like, okay, you know what I mean? But they'll stay day in, day out because they're comfortable. 
they know the other person. So they feel like it's the easiest thing to do. Another thing that this particular individual told me was, well, also I have four years investing in the relationship. And so it just, I feel like it has to work because I've invested all this time. Let me tell you guys one of the most important things when it comes to relationships and time, <laughs> right? So having that mentality of, oh, I've invested one year or I've invested three years, so I have to say it has to work is the singular must sure way of wasting your life, literally. You will be 60, you will be 70, and you, would have, you will be sitting there thinking, what have I done? What have I done? The first year I knew it wasn't right, I wasn't my happiest, I wasn't my best self. The second year I knew, but I, I just kept racking on time behind this relationship that I knew wasn't the best fit for me. So having that thought process of, well, I've invested three years so I, like, and I'm not necessarily happy, so let's just invest another three years, you could start to see how twisted that is, right? I'm not happy. It's essentially what you're saying is I'm not happy. I haven't really been my happiest or my best self. I feel like I could do better being by myself or exploring different avenues. But since I've already put in three years into this, or since I've already put in four years into this, let me go ahead and do another four years. Let me go ahead and waste some more time being mediocre, being less than what I was called to this part to be, right? And so you rack on the time. And unfortunately, or fortunately, time is the singular thing that we all have in common. You do not get back time, period. So if at the fourth year you realize, you know, I really want to go do X, Y, Z. It's not a good fit, this and that. And you have to find the courage to redirect and pivot. You know, whether that means leaving, whether that means whatever that means for you. Because I can tell you one thing, continuing in that path and continuing to add on to the time that you already spent is crazy thinking, right? It's ludicrous, right? When you really start thinking about that. And we've all fallen into that trap before. When I was younger in my early 20s, I falling into that trap before and, and that's exactly what it is it's a trap and the irony of it is that you're trapping yourself oh it's been three years i've invested so much let me invest some more let me invest another three years of my life and my time and being comfortable and why being comfortable is so toxic because when you're comfortable most of the time if not all of the time you're not growing what helps us grow? What pushes us to the maximum, to our maximum potential at any given time or our maximum capabilities at any given time? Challenges, right? Challenges do that for us. Failures do that for us. And unfortunately, in our society, we've been taught to fear challenges or fear failure when it should be the exact opposite. We should really embrace it challenges and we should essentially learn to love failure. So we might not love it at the time because it, it might be hurtful at the time, but essentially have that mindset of this is what it means to be my best self at any given time. And when you're comfortable, especially in the sense, and keep in mind, I'm really mostly speaking in the sense of being comfortable in a relationship. So when it crosses over to being toxic, because you can be comfortable in a relationship without necessarily having it be toxic, but when it, it's, it's a very slippery slope, it's how I'll say it. It's a very slippery slope because the best relationships aren't necessarily that comfortable, right? You're always kind of learning about the other person. You're always wanting to... See what they like, see how it looks, like 
see their growth, grow yourself. And none of those things keep you in a comfortable spot. None of those things keep you in a comfortable position, right? If you're always having to learn about someone, always having to put that person's needs, you know, at the forefront of your mind, you're always having to work on yourself. None of those things indicate comfort. All of those things should always at some level or capacity be putting you out of your comfort zone. So if you find that you're incredibly comfortable in your relationship and that's why you're staying, you might want to, you have some things to think about, right? Because unless you feel like you'll be happy at 80, being in the same spot where you are now, whether it be with your relationship or with something else, then it might not be the best thing for you to be comfortable, right? That's when we start seeing being comfortable crossing over into a more toxic um, area, right? So you can be comfortable. However, you want to really be on the alert because when you're in a relationship, particularly, again, this is particularly for being comfortable in a relationship, right? When you're in a relationship, being comfortable is a very slippery slope to becoming lazy within your own relationship, to becoming lazy about taking care of yourself, continuing to look for things that you like, that you enjoy, that push you to grow. So being comfortable can be a very, very slippery slope. And it's very, very easy to go from being comfortable into being, you know, in a more toxic relationship off of being comfortable. So those are things that typically people don't mesh up together, but they work hand in hand. They they have this dance and this rhythm and they work hand in hand. So anyways, we can keep talking more about that and we will in future videos. For this video, go ahead and let me know what you think. Do you think I'm right? Do you think I'm wrong? What are your thoughts? Comment below and subscribe to join the Mayday Familia. Los amo, gracias. And also hit the thumbs up. Um, helps out the video a lot if you like the video as well and or found it helpful. Also, leave me other things that you guys might want to address or talk about. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios. Bye.